All right, Matt, are you ready for dungeons? And are, uh, I might be ready for dragons, though. No dragons, just dungeons. Oh, just dungeons? We're playing Dungeons and Dungeons today. Hey, dunge oh, dungeons? Oh, shit. Dungeons and Dungeons and Dungeons and What kind of dungeons? dungeons? What kind of dungeons, though? Uh, like, yeah. like, can you, like, like? I mean, is, are, are we talking, like, ogres and goblins? Or are we talking, like, uh... A lot of leather. Uh, Looks no, like both. The, the, for, the <laughs> former, kind of. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Jo okay, do you remember when we played that horrible Fallout game yeah, on the I PlayStation think, 2? I think so, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so that was a spinoff of uh, Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance. Like, it was the same kind of, like, style of game because uh, there was a D&D &D version of that. And then they made two of those. And now this is the new... Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance. Okay. So, welcome back to Dojo, everybody. I'm Jeff. I'm a Matt. And uh, yeah, we're gonna play to play to Baldur's Gate, the, which okay, as all as I understand it is okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, that's uh, how you want to start your episode. Well, is, uh, I've heard this game is okay. I, I don't know. There was a weird trailer for it where Jermaine Clement did the 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 voiceover. No, and I don't understand why. Okay. Because I don't know Everything. if he's actually in this game, but um, oh no, oh no, for each other. oh pieces of shit, stupid idiots! How dare they? Yeah. But their bond is strong. Okay. Why does the lady have like steampunk goggles? Yeah, it was because it's D and D. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I found out. I found out. This What'd is you find in, out? This is in Icewind Dale. Which is actually, I didn't realize Icewind Dale was part of Forgotten Realms. Uh huh. Because I talked about that, and then everybody was like, yeah. you stupid idiot. You sure use a I lot mean, of uh, words that uh, I've totally ooh, heard of before. It's a beholder. That's kind of cool. It's a, oh, it's, it's like a big ogre guy. Uh oh. It's like a frozen lich man or something. Uh, uh, evidently. So, uh, so d I don't know if you, have you played D&D, Matt? I've, like, have you ever, I've played D&D exactly twice in my life. Okay. Uh, what, do you know what, what campaign world it was in? Okay. Uh, the, the most recent time it was Forgotten Realms. Okay. So that's this, that's this world. Okay. It's Forgotten Realms. Okay. Uh, oh shit. Okay. Well, I played this a little bit earlier today. Um, but that's okay, because uh, it just dumps you into this hub, right? Okay. Uh, this seems like it might be, like, one of the problems this game might have is that it seems like it's really made for, like, online co-op. Mm -hmm. um, first off, the previous one, as you remember, was, like, top-down, and this is, like, a third-person action game. It also has some weird kind of Soulsy DNA and the fact that it's got a stamina management thing mm -hmm. at the top. Uh, but here, let's, uh, let's, there's four different characters you got Driz, Driz, who's like famous. Uh -huh. You got this Wolfgar guy, who's like a big barbarian dude. Right. You got uh, this Lady Archer, Caddy Bree, and then there's a there's a, a a dwarf man as well. But I haven't played as, as Brunor Battlehammer. Brunor Battlehammer. I like. Yet. Oh, he's got a he's got a spear stein on his shield. Oh yeah, there he goes. Yeah, that's nice. I like so that. So who do you want to play as? Oh. Uh, uh, I don't know. Beer sh old beer shield sounds pretty cool, but. Uh, we can, we can, but he's the only one I haven't played with, so that okay. we can just go through and yeah. and do the first thing. So you go into this this hub world, and then everybody's got like, what's up? All right. So this is the merchant. Uh huh. This is Regis. this is uh uh where you pick up. It's so weird. Like okay, when you're in the game and you pick up mm -hmm. treasure. You can't equip it. You have to wait until you're done with the run oh, okay. in order to like identify and equip it. All right. And it comes through real loot boxy. Oh. Um, but I don't think there's any way to actually buy loot boxes full of gear. Okay. Uh, yeah. It's it, it's a, okay. It's a very weird game. You're gonna see. Right. So here we got our dude. Okay. He's got really high con and really high strength. Uh, you got your equipment, and then each, everybody has a couple abilities. Him, his is taunt. Oh, he's the tank. Right. And a magic anvil drops in front on impact. It damages guard, breaks monsters, also dealing effective fire. Okay, that's fine. Uh, here you've got like, uh, you've got this move section where you can buy new attack moves. Mm -hmm. So like all the moves just cost money, which is a little weird. And then you've got feats, which cost like experience points. Like okay. there's there, you get points for doing stuff. Okay. And then you've also got your character sheet where you can level up using attribute points. Ah. But then there's also... A whole 
fuckload of, of upgrade materials. Anyway, well, let's just fucking play. Uh, okay. Let's hit. So we're six minutes in here, and I feel like I need to hit something. So. Yeah, I was going to say, um, uh, this is a... Uh, um, I, I'm sitting here being like, we have a, a dwarf with a beer stein on his shield. How have we not picked a drunken brawl with, like, orcs yet? Yeah. So every level has, like, multiple tiers of difficulty. Mm, okay. And we're just starting on the on the first one. Um, it. Uh, I feel like I haven't really... I've tried not to really look into this stuff too hard, mm -hmm. but I feel like a lot of the things I've seen are, like, it's super grindy. Like, mm. you've just got to keep playing it. And then it's not, like, super, super, super fun to play. So... <laughs> okay. Uh, you know... It's just such a... It's kind of a deadly combination of just like, hey, you got to play this like okay game a lot over and over and over again. <laughs> like you have to play this one level over and over and over again. Um, well, thank God for that. Yeah. Um, all right. What are you guys? Are they trying you... to pull the Terminator down? Or are they trying I to? Guess? Oh, he's like, Gobbos have come in here and. We got some trolls, or uh -huh. I don't know what those. Those they're trolls, right? Yeah, they're like they they must be Are those I, kobolds. Oh, oh. <laughs> both for sure. Whoa, Whoa. Hey, Dargan! There's a dragon. There's a Dargan in this dungeons game. Yo, I was. <laughs> you lied to me. I did. Icing death. Uh, is is that the name of the dragon? I guess. Oh, uh, because okay. get it? Because they're Cockney. Uh, oh. I am I supposed to the Queen of Storms. I swear. Am I supposed to know Oh. Wait, I thought that was the dude. No, they said it was the she's the mate of the other one. Oh, the yeah. other one was the dude. Yeah, this is or, the this is the the or they're both queen lady of dragons. the storm. I'm, I'm not or, trying to, I don't know. I'm not trying to d don't make assumptions. I'm not making assumptions. Okay, so that was a that was pretty cool. Yeah? Yeah. Uh oh, all and right. here we are. All right. So and we're playing. Bop, 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 bop. Let's go already. All right. So it's a uh, it's weird in that it's like a uh, this valley is mine, and I'll be dead before I see my people turn to a clan of red. So, so we're we're doing the Hobbit, is what we're doing. Sort of. It's just a Hobbit inside of a Hobbit, on top of a Hobbit. There's a dragon. Of. There's a, a, a ancient dwarven city that's been lost, and yeah. now the dwarves are back to reclaim it. So the weirdest thing about this, Matt, is mm -hmm. that it, the game is like. Um, it gets into this very weird kind of like, um, I, it doesn't feel super good to play. Like, <laughs> okay. the thing is that when you, okay, so everybody's got like a ranged and when you do your range thing, uh, that'll set off this thing. Okay, I guess in combat. So like, okay, you've got a right bumper for a regular attack and then you've got right trigger for like the, the big heavy attacks, right? Right. Uh, you got left bumper for block and you can also parry if you block at the last minute. You've got mm -hmm. a dodge button, um... You've got like a limited number of um, potions that right. regenerate after certain checkpoints, but you can choose to like skip the checkpoint in order to get better loot. Right. But like, I don't know, man. You like lock on to guys and then you can like attack, but it's kind of hard to hit guys if you don't lock on to them and, and huh. the camera doesn't feel great. <laughs> I mean, like, here's the thing you know how, you know how, like, Regardless of what you think about it, like Dynasty Warriors, sure, just feels, feels good very to play, good in the hand, right? Right. And this one, like the the attacks are all like real slow, and you get interrupted. I mean, I don't know. Like, it's also possible that they might do a thing here that I'm not a big fan of, where like when you start out as level one, you kind of suck, but then as you build up you know um uh, uh levels and you buy new gear and you get stuff that everything feels better um uh, i played right. this first level a whole bunch of times so but i haven't really gone very far past that again okay. it also might be the sort of thing where it like works well if you're playing with your buddies uh as sure, opposed to playing this is, by this yourself is a, this is a multiplayer game i mean originally it was kind of so here's the camp and when okay. you when you when you you can rest and you get back your consumables and you get a checkpoint, but then if you don't rest, then you get a bonus to the gear that you pick up over the course huh. of the level. So okay. I'll do the rest right now. 
um, which actually makes it so that like the rain, the the lady, the ranger, uh-huh. she has an uh, uh, she has she's the only one with an ability that heals, uh, that okay. regenerates over time, and so um, it feels like she's better suited to everything because <laughs> she's both ranged and she can heal. Right. So. Um, I don't know. Like, what are you, what are you thinking as you look at this? I, I mean, it's a this pretty generic role play kinda, game. Kinda yeah, kind of looks like a, a, a it's like it kind of has a little bit of a Diablo vibe to it. I assume, which was sort of the point, I guess. Yeah. Back when Diablo was originally made, I mean, this looks like you know what this feels like to me. What's that? It feels like a slightly kind of. I feel like this type this type of game. It almost feels like a throwback, mm-hmm. but but it's not really something I don't think it has as much of an audience that it used to. Am I wrong about that? I assume that people still like these kind of games. Well, so it, it's it's very strange to me. Here, let's try this thing out. We know this we're really uh, oh. Uh, okay. Okay, that's fun. I like that. Yeah. I mean, that's the sort of you see on the left side where the little hand is. Mm-hmm. Like the thing below it is that, and ah. it it regenerates as you attack. The other one okay. is lo- the like uh, 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 taunt, which mm. doesn't seem like it would be at all useful in a single player game, right? Like, right. Uh, I guess maybe if you get a bonus to the taunted guys. Oh yeah. Okay. So you get like a thorns that okay. reflects damage. Um, so the original. Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance. One of the reasons I think it was so popular was because it was a it was a top down game that was kind of relatively simple, mm-hmm. but it also had a lot of like customizability, and you could like you know you could take one character and really kind of kit him out the way you wanted to play the game. I don't know. I think that it might have been a better move on their part to make a new top down action RPG as opposed to this behind the shoulder. Thing. Oh, is uh, this a, is this a remake? It's not a remake. It's like oh. a reboot, basically. Oh. So oh, right. the original one just starts like in a bar. Uh, it's, oh, it's, well, it's, it's like a it's an, a D and D thing where you just well, that would have see that that feels like it would have been a little more because okay here's the thing. And you, the first thing you do in the original Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance is you go fight rats in the sewer uh, okay. to get from, like, level one to level two. I think you buy, like, leather gear. Like, you don't start out with this fucking full plate mail prestige set. Uh, that Yeah, that feels like, okay, so so you're starting to elaborate on the thing that I was was starting to... There was something about this that was starting to kind of feel a little weird to me. Like, what is it about this that's, like, not grabbing me? Yeah. And I realized... It's a problem I have with quite a few games that are... I, I can't think of any uh, off the top of my head, but there are games like this that are like... Pac-Man. That. Uh-huh. Miss Pac-Man. Miss Pac-Man. Um, that, make you, that make you think... Uh, if this is supposed to be a D&D game... Right. Part of the appeal of D&D is building your character and... And it being that RPG element of starting off in a bar and right. going down and fighting rats. What you're describing to me sounds so much more engaging than here uh, you're in full plate armor and you're going to go run into this goblin encampment and there's a dragon somewhere. And I'm sitting here thinking like, last time I played D&D, uh, we, we had so much trouble just beating goblins <laughs> that we we eventually gave up trying to beat them um, and just uh, oh no we were supposed to go on to this island where the goblins all had a base okay and and then and uh, because the goblins kept attacking this little town and so and our DM had had figured it all out and he was like yeah this whole uh, uh, campaign it figured out and we said well, first thing we did was we took our, our uh, what are they called? Their gnomes, halflings. Okay. Our halfling player. All right. And we stitched him together a crude goblin skin suit uh-huh. <laughs> so he could sneak among the goblins. Goblins are pretty stupid. It, it worked for a while. But then they they got wise to us. Yeah. And instead of just fighting our way across the rope bridge to get to the goblin camp, we just burned it down and uh-huh. said, fuck that. We're just going to leave him on the island. Yeah. So, I mean, like, it's weird because uh, D&D, I don't know. I guess that there's, like, there's been there's been some action, some just straight-up action D&D games over the years. Right. Uh, and But Dark Alliance, I don't know. Like, it had a good, it was kind of a good cross between, like, Diablo, which I think is a little bit more action-oriented, mm-hmm. and then, like, an actual role-playing game that gives you 
uh, you know, where you where you're going to be building your character a little bit more. But I guess uh, some of it might just be the 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 iconography because mm. like like as I, you know, having beat this level with a bunch of the other characters, it's like oh man, like there's a whole tree full of moves and skills and and bonuses mm -hmm. and there's like ring slots and like right now all the starter gear is garbage and it's got some interesting kind of cosmetic stuff going on uh-huh but like it doesn't come across like that <laughs> like that's maybe <laughs> the the thing uh is that it doesn't entirely so i'm gonna skip this one um uh, it doesn't entirely come across that way. So I don't know. Like, mm. I'm happy. I'm really happy that this is on Game Pass, mm -hmm. right? Uh, so I can play it on my Xbox, and I didn't have to, to fucking buy it, right? Right. Uh, that I just. Well, I mean, you know, I, I bought Game Pass, right? Obviously, it's that thing. So here's Mog Thump the Stickler. Well, thank God. I'm gonna smash him a little bit. I'm gonna put some thorns on. Uh, <laughs> Burning resisted. Don't resist my burns, bro. I remember uh, we uh, when again oh, when we were playing up. our 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 D and D campaign. Yeah. Um, oh. <laughs> one of my friends, uh, she played a uh, she was playing as a a, a gay uh, half orc. Okay. And um, there was a uh, there was a young woman that uh, was trying to seduce him because uh -huh. <laughs> she had a thing for orcs. <laughs> And she like they we were they were looking for rats down in like a basement or something, and the uh, our DM literally said the phrase she uh, bent over the barrel seductively looking for rats. <laughs> Gross. Phrase, yeah, uh. it's, it's a lot of uh, combination, of a lot of words you don't want. Yeah. What about you? Did you? Did you um, Jesus Ooh, Christ. Okay. Right. Whoa. Oh, oh, oh okay. I'm on a ladder. Oh, I'm on right. a ladder. Fuck. I, I, that was fucking uh, yeah, I, did, I, didn't know, I didn't know what was going was on like, there. What was either. any of that? Oh, wait, hold on. Oh shit. Can I get that thing to go? Oh, come on. Do the thing. Don't auto-target that. There you so go. Also, oh, he's, he's, he's having problems. Oh, well, he's dead. So, Mog Thump the, the stickler. <laughs> but see, then I got some really, really nice loot off of All that. Right. So, um, one of the things that's kind of interesting is that in this level, there's this... I don't know how prevalent it is in the rest, but there's this thing where you have these ice fields, mm -hmm. and I, and if you just try to walk across them, you get all fucked. Um, but... Uh, scattered. It took me a long time to figure this out. Scattered throughout there are these uh, these burning swords, uh -huh. and you see you get this icon that's like warm. Oh. And when you when you're warm, then you can run, and it doesn't oh, cause any problem. Oh, I see. And it really took me a while to figure that out. Okay. Like, uh, is that it? Okay. Well, it looks like there's objectively some good mechanics going on here. Yeah, I don't. I mean, like the thing is that I don't want to judge it too hard right off the bat, and I guess it's one of those things where it's like, I. Again, I really think it's a great thing that it's on Game Pass because mm -hmm. it means that you'd be like, I don't know, I'll give it a two or three hours and see what happens. Sure. As opposed to like, I had to pay $60 for this, and yeah. I'm just like, this isn't what I wanted out of my Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance game. Because <laughs> um, it very much is different. Like, it's very different, and it's, it's cribbing from a lot of other places. Um, and I also just unclear about the storyline. Like... Like, mm. wh what is the story? Why am I doing any of this stuff? Well, there's a, uh, I don't know. See, that's what I said earlier is that it, it was like a, they were doing like a hobbit thing where right. it's like, oh, yes, the dwarves, they've lost their kingdom and there's a dragon and whoa, 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 whoa. These are whoa. traps. Terps. Jeez. And this is a little treasure room. Oh, a little one. Well, it's got a lot of. Ingots. Oh, it's a lot of garbage. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it is ingots. I don't need ingots. What's your opinion of those hobbit films? The Hobbit or the Lord of the Rings? Hobbit. Oh, the Hobbit's garbage. <laughs> yes. Top to bottom. Yeah. Makes the other movies worse. Uh, oh, congratulations, really? you done fucked yourself. I'm gonna do my super. I don't even know if I did. Uh, I, I'm surprised to hear you you think that it makes the other movies worse by comp by just by association because I think it's pretty easy to separate the two. I mean, I, not like it doesn't make them. It doesn't make them the room or anything. Right, like, no, but it uh, like... But it just kind of dulled a little bit of my... Everybody had, like, Middle Earth Middle Earth fever for right. a little while, and so did I. And then kind of when those Hobbit movies came out, I was like, oh, I no longer have Middle Earth fever. Oh, my I My fever has broken. It, it made uh, it like... It was kind of like when the prequels came out. And oh, I, sure. And I didn't have Star Wars fever anymore. Yeah, uh, it's like, oh, I don't want to be in this universe anymore. Not even not even that. Not that harsh. Not that harsh. Just okay. like, are you excited? Eh, 
you know, well, fucking I'll I'll watch it, but like I'm not, you know, oh god, we gotta go at a midnight fucking yeah. screening and go. Yeah, I guess I uh, could see that. I just uh I really just wish they would have made the Hobbit into one movie. And or taken out all let of the Guillermo bullshit. Let Guillermo del Toro do it, or, or that. But yeah. yeah, I just wish that they would have, they would have done what we all know they should have done. Which well, is, we've, yeah, we've, been, we've all been, pretty much everybody's been saying that since day one. Yeah. Um. So. But yeah. Um. Well, yeah. Well, well, but uh, that. Uh, so you. one thing Fuck I meant to ask. You. What I asked earlier and I ah. forgot to follow up on is, oh, oh no, oh. oh god, yeah, he's oh got geez, a, he's got a big hooky hook. Um, is uh, uh, Dungeons and Dragons? Do you play a lot of Dungeons and Dragons in the day? Uh, I have in the past, but uh, so I've both run and played in in sessions. I'm sure that a lot of people remember some of my stories. Um, mm. There was a when as far as campaigns that I ran, my favorite campaign. Uh, that I was involved with was an evil campaign Ooh. where we all got to play as the evil dudes. Cool. Um, and I was the most evil. Mm -hmm. and the people that I played with were like, dude, you're fucked up. And I was <laughs> like, what? We got taken prisoner by a bunch of pirates. And I, my character was a, an evil cleric, which meant that um, charisma was one of my stats. Ah. So I was very convincing. And I was also half uh, ace, ace mirror, ace or whatever, uh -huh. which meant I was like a celestial. So I was Whoa. super pretty. And okay. like everybody won. I could talk my way. You are Mr. Nimbus. Right, I am Mr. Nimbus. <laughs> I am Mr. And, uh, <laughs> and so we got captured by these pirates, uh -huh. and they wouldn't let us sleep. And so he oh, invited God. him to a threesome. And so eventually, I, I, um, oh shit. Oh fuck. Um, dude. Well, okay. Well, that's one way you could fuck your own dude up. Um, uh, and so eventually, I made best. Fr I made one of the pirates think I was the best friend. I like uh -huh. squealed on a bunch of the other prisoners who were trying to break out. Ooh. And eventually, he left us alone. For like, he gave us like fresh food and like a, pl a warm place to sleep. Mm -hmm. And was like, "You guys really fucking helped me out. I'm gonna get a promotion on that." And as soon as he was asleep, I was like, um, "I want to do a coup de gras," which in D and D, if like. If a character is completely incapacitated, like asleep, mm -hmm. you can do a coup de grace where you just get like max damage. Oh, you just uh, fucking stab them to death while they're sleeping. Right. They, they don't have any defense. So you basically just get like max. It, it's like you pretend that you get max dice rolls Jeez. for attacking them. And so I basically just exploded this dude's brain. <laughs> uh, and our, my my the people I was playing with were like, oh, my God, that guy thought you were his best friend. And I'm like, thank you. They put us in jail. Yeah, fuck them. Like they're our captors, man. Like we we're not. We didn't do anything. They're pirates. It's not like we were. We broke the law and, and the fucking town guard put us in jail. These motherfuckers like overpowered us, took all our shit, and made us into slaves. Of course, I pulped that dude's head. <laughs> but everybody was just like, Nah, he was super nice. Like he was gonna let us out. And I was like, Fuck you. Fuck if he was gonna let us out. He was our captor. Uh, yeah, I, I sort of get that. Uh, I get that inclination where you're like, nah, fuck that guy. <laughs> yeah, like, he's a baddie. I don't want him to, like, come with us. I want him fucking in the ground it's, where he belongs. It's, <laughs> like, it, it's funny because... Um, they hang pirates. It, it's funny because they... Um, uh, I was, I was, you know, because... Cause, Gother vs. Kong came out on Blu-ray, uh -huh. and I was kind of watching some bits of it the other day, and uh, I was sitting here thinking, like, during the final battle, you're supposed to be, like, feeling sympathy for Godzilla because he's getting his ass kicked by Mechagodzilla, but I was sort of thinking about it from an objective standpoint of this universe, yeah. of, like, not knowing that Godzilla is supposed to be, like, a whatever, balance of the earth bullshit, right? and thinking, like... He destroyed an entire naval fleet. Yep. And he killed a lot of people in sure Pensacola. Sure did. Um, and those people didn't know. They weren't building Mechagodzilla. They, yeah. <laughs> so, like, I'm just sitting here thinking, like, yeah, sometimes it's kind of hard to justify. Well, well no, but... but that guy was well, that guy totally didn't like he was sorry for ki kidnapping us and making us into pirate slaves. Yeah, he didn't he didn't come up with the plan to make us into pirate slaves. It's like I don't fucking care. He just enforced it. I, I'm still a pirate slave. <laughs> like uh, yeah. He's still the guy with the whip in his hand. Like I you know, he was the guy that was making it so that we could, none of us could get more than 5 hours of sleep so that we couldn't regenerate our spells. Like, I used the one thing I had, which was my charm, and as soon as he turned his back around... Yeah. You gave him the nod, <laughs> yeah. and uh, the little starfish wrote down, gave you the, gave you the chart. A <laughs> fucking episode. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, 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 and so that was my favorite 
campaign that I was ever in. But then after that, there was a lot of personal bullshit, as always happens. As always happens. That um, that got that that did it. And then I actually built my all me and my bestie at the time. We built a whole campaign world to run with my friends. And the first time we tried to run it, um, one of my friends was a horrible, horrible alcoholic, and oh, no. he refused to play unless he was able to drink. Ugh. And when he drank, he got fucking irritating. Oh no! Uh, like the longer that we played, the God, more he would just be like, worst. Uh, "I just want to, I just want to fucking hit that guy." Like, and it was like, "Dude, you're gonna die." Like, no, I don't. I don't give a shit. No, I, I could do it. And then like, um, so we kicked him out, and there weren't enough people to play. Years later, we went back, um, and another one of my friends. Oh no! Uh, wanted to be that guy. Uh-huh. Uh, that everybody has played with. We're just like, well, my guy doesn't take shit from anybody. Uh. And it's like, okay, so we were, we were, again, I was trying to run an evil campaign. And, um, my, I'm sorry, by the way, that we're not saying anything. I mean, this is kind of like rote, right? We're just like, we're fighting, we're fighting goblins. I'm just kind of doing the same thing over and over again. Yeah. Um, so we, you know, like we're running an evil campaign and we wanted our, we basically wanted to run the reverse of the Warriors of Light, where like mm. good has ruled for thousands of years and poor, poor downtrodden evil is finally getting a <laughs> chance to come back by uh -huh. collecting the, the five evil sigils to, to awaken uh, like like the it. darkness lord. Aw awaken uh, chaos. Right, right. And, uh, yeah. Um, you, need, you need a white guy, a black guy, and a pink anime boy. Pink-haired anime boy. Yeah, and so we had our guys all set up, and then like my one friend, it was just like, okay, well, you're getting, like, here comes this imperious lich who's like going to be your, your fucking, like, your Zelda old man, right? Who's going to get you started on the road to evil. Yeah. And my, that sounds awesome. My friend was just like, well, I want to fucking attack him. And I'm like, no. You're level one. He is a level 30 lich in a castle with, like, an undead army of familiars. And he's like, well, my character's chaotic evil, and he wouldn't listen to what anybody has to say. And it's like, well, is your character stupid? Does your character understand the difference between being alive and being dead? Yeah, you're Because not... this guy will kill you and then make him work, make you work for him. Like, yeah. that's his whole fucking thing. And, like, he's being nice. And so I had to do the DM thing of just, like, <laughs> the lich is like... Look, I understand that you are new to this adventuring game, <laughs> but I am going to give you one last chance not to disrespect me in my house. Uh, I will sweeten the deal with an extra 10% on completion of your first task. And he's like, no, I want to fucking hit him. And then it was like, okay, everybody roll for initiative. Okay, the entire party got wiped. Okay, next week we're going to start over again, I guess. And then we started you over again. Did that? Yeah, well, Fuck. that's what happens. I mean, that's it's what like, happens when you attack a level 30 lich. Right. <laughs> like, you guys aren't good enough. And my friends were like, this is a guy that I know, I knew for a long time in my. I finally just stopped talking to him. Yeah. And my, I would meet up with my old friends, and they would just be like, oh, do you never talk to him anymore? And I'm like, no, he's a fucking asshole. Yeah. Like, oh, that's just how he is. And I was like, yeah, I know. Okay. And I've, I've decided that I don't want to be friends with fucking assholes anymore. So, like, I stopped being friends with him <laughs> because he's an asshole. And, like, yeah. I just got tired of putting up with his asshole shit. Like, I... Me and my friend spent two months writing the story for the evil campaign, uh -huh. developing, modding out the world that we had created for the drunk guy and, and the same friends. Yeah. And then, you know, we got one, half of one session in and we just had to put up with a belligerent player who wouldn't fucking play the video, play the game. And it was like, all right, cool. <laughs> Good job, buddy. Like, what did you think was going to happen Congratulations, here? you played yourself. <laughs> right, well, what, what was I supposed to do? Just, like, let you... Let you level one guys best the level 30 lich. Like, even if I biffed every single roll, you guys couldn't do damage to him. He's an elemental, like, lord of darkness. You're what? fucking like, you guys just were like, you we, know, you're like 20 fucking... year olds who were like, oh, I think I might want to be an adventurer. Let's all go buy swords. That'll be my, I'll take my best friend and my other best friend and we'll pick up some guys in the tavern and just fucking go on an adventure. And then, like, the Lord of Darkness, then you just went up to Sauron, and you were like, yeah, fuck you. We're fucking in a band. We're super cool. I don't know. Like, I like these guys. I'm um, still a little salty. If you yeah, I can pick up. I picked up on that. <laughs> I, I just think it's, I think it's just, it's like, those seem like the kind of people who probably don't fundamentally understand D&D. Or life. Or life. Yeah. I mean, this is uh, one of my friends that I I really never liked the guy. 
And then, like, he just started hanging out with my friend group, and they were all too whatever to tell him, like, to go fuck himself. And it's so like, it's just hey. like, well, I could fucking... I could, I could, I could be in a situation where my friend group now has like my nemesis in it. <laughs> like my, the people that I hang around with are like, we also hang around with one of the guys that you don't like very much, and it's like, or you could just fucking like, you know, deal with it and, yeah. and go up along your very. I mean, I'm, we lived I'm... in the same apartment complex, and the dude would come to my house because I lived on the third floor, <sighs> and was like, I don't like going up steps, and it's just like, okay. Jesus Christ! What are we fuck? are we friends or not? Like yeah, that's that's like, whoa. <laughs> that that fuck everything you you're fuck describing, you, I you I just think about how these are people that I have. These are the kind of people I have avoided most of my life. Yep, are are just people who are just kind of obnoxious, and or or or, or are just. Like I'll 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 yeah, I am one of those people who I I'm not a super big fan of conflict. I don't really like I don't like having to confront people and be like, "Hey, you're kind of acting like a piece of shit." Unless there's like literally no other option. Sure. But I'm very fortunate. Whee! Whoa! I'm very fortunate that most of the people I have associated with are not like that or I just kind of give them the fade. <laughs> I'm like, "All right, well, See, I don't know. I, I talk from time to time about how, like, nobody on this channel has any idea what I was like when I was a 20-year-old. Uh-huh. Uh, and it's true. Like, I was a different, a very different person when I was a 20-year-old. God, fuck you guys. Jesus. Fucking eat my dwarf dong. <laughs> um, uh... And the thing is that my friends from high school, the ones that I don't really... I mean, I associate with, like, a couple of people from that time period, but not that many. They were very much like, um, <laughs> like YouTube rational skeptics. Oh, no. <laughs> like, it was all very logical and very just like, well, we must argue with our superior man logic to decide <laughs> what is the truth. And oh. once we have decided the truth, then everybody must adhere to the one that truth. sounds awful. And it wasn't until years later that another one of my friends who was, like, the ex of, of one of those folks was like, you do know that your friends treat you like shit, right? And I was like... Nah, nah, that's just how they are. Yeah. And then I met like everybody, like you and Jason and, and Corey and all those people, people yeah. and I was just like, oh man, my friends really did treat me like a piece of shit. Like they were just like, ah, there goes Jeff again with his fucking feelings, like a girl. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm wow. depressed. And they were just like, have you ever thought about not being depressed? Have you thought about it's like every day? You I thought, thought about <laughs> g getting your penis back? Yeah. 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 I, you you uh, fucking good lady. You big lady. <laughs> with your feelings. Your lady. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Yeah, you just. Cut. I don't know if you've noticed, but like, there's a fair amount of jank in this <laughs> I was game. Say, like, well, I've noticed a couple of times that our, uh, I think our chainmail is it supposed to be rainbow colored like that, or I don't know. Is I that just, a graphical glitch? I just noticed, like, you notice how the ledges seem a little too high for our guy to jump and then mantle up to. Yeah, even though he can. He's a tiny dwarf. <laughs> He's a tiny dwarfman, uh, but. It just seems like a little off, and like sometimes the enemies just get confused about what they're supposed to do. Yeah. Um, this is going to be bad because I didn't save my potions. No, oh, no. Um, so you got to fight these two guys or the bosses. Oh, I see. Yeah, that one guy just stood there and let me fucking wind up and start start dicking him. Um, <laughs> you, you don't want to. You don't just want a guy to come up and start dicking you. Guys, I'm over here. Come on. Come on. I'm obviously trying to lure you. Fucking, I have a range attack. It's stupid, but I will use it. Uh, I'd rather get rid of these ads first. I wonder how... Oh, okay. Well, how about take the Anvil of Justice. <laughs> Anvil. Grieg's Ear Lopper and Plubo Bone Sucker. <laughs> Whatever. Pretty, those are pretty good names. <laughs> Fuck that Plubo means. Bone Sucker. <laughs> Yeah, it does sound like a it's a mm. like a He Man, uh, like a new <laughs> a, a new guy, fucking in Skeletor's army. Yeah, ah yes, Bone Sucker, stay away from me. <laughs> Get uh, out of here, Bone Sucker. We all hate you. Um, yeah, um, but yeah, my life. There were a lot of chapters to my life. <laughs> I just before yeah, you guys, my life. <laughs> you, before, before you guys knew anything about it. Yeah, there were a lot of chapters. Yeah. There was a lot of chapters. A lot of yeah. shit happened. You I know? saw some of my. Uh, I I saw a little bit of the, 
of the Jeff chapter of the of the w website you had made. Oh, <laughs> of when I moved to yeah <laughs> to my Seattle. travel log when yeah, I moved that to was Seattle. A, yeah. yeah, it's a, it's a it was, baby Jeff. It's a yeah, it's like little a, teeny tiny baby baby, baby boy. Twenty baby year old Jeff's <laughs> doing the thing. Yep. Is that the blue bow or ear lopper or who? I am think I you've been attacked. That's ear lopper. Oh, that's ear lopper. Yeah, little oh, guy's okay. ear lopper. Bone sucker's the big guy. I really feel like I should be probably concentrating on that bone sucker. I'm just thinking about, you mentioned He-Man villains, and I'm just thinking about, you know, number one, that new He-Man trailer is pretty cool. I liked it. And, and number two, um, because, of course, YouTube recommends horrible things. Yeah. Uh, one, of the, uh, one of the types of videos that kept getting recommended to me were... There's something so sad about reactionaries on YouTube when they don't have anything to say. Uh -huh. <laughs> like they're desperately cloying for something. And there are these reactionaries on YouTube who are like these rational skeptics who are like, well, what are they hiding? What what wokeness are they hiding in the new He-Man oh. that's going to ruin it? And I'm like, you oh. are 20 years old and have never watched He-Man in your entire life. I think it's uh, <laughs> I, I think that when you run a YouTube when you run a successful YouTube channel, mm. you must have to pay attention to whatever the thing that is trending on Twitter and then talk about it on your show. Right. Uh, He-Man was garbage. <laughs> The show He-Man was shit, like old Transformers episodes. Go back and watch old He-Man. It's not. It's for babies. It's. It's not a nuanced. It's not like Star Trek: The Next Generation or fucking like I don't know, uh, you know, Farscape, Anna Karenna or something like. It's fucking. It's a, it's a show for babies where the big tan man punches the skeleton man who also is. Ripped for some reason. <laughs> yeah. Uh, shouldn't he be a skeleton? Should Skeletor no, no. be a skeleton? Just, just his head, just okay. his face. All right. Uh, anyway, I don't care. Uh, like, <laughs> I just thought it was like, funny. Release it, and then I will judge it based on what it is when it comes out. Instead of no, making... but there's a screenshot no, of Tila, and she has a different haircut. I don't care. And it's like, and that means the show is for lesbians. I don't care. <laughs> Let it be That's for lesbians. Literally, the fucking here's 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 the thing, Matt. I don't care if it is for lesbians. I'm yeah. not going to watch it. Like I, I'm probably not going to get really into He-Man, regardless of how good it is, because you know what, Voltron was pretty good, and I just fucking couldn't be arsed to watch it. <laughs> I was just like, you know what, uh, I got better things to do with my life. I'm sure it's a fine show. You do whatever you feel like. I'll see you, see you someday. Somebody will be like, oh man, that Voltron's real good, and I'll be like, I'm sure it is. Yeah, uh, but I've got. I've got Japanese baby shows to watch, <laughs> not American baby shows. At least so. in Japanese baby shows, people get murdered sometimes. At least the existential crises are closer to what I actually yeah. face in my life. Yeah. Hey, uh, uh, at least a kaiju <laughs> will make you disappear. Anyway, <laughs> patreon.com forward slash range select. Hit Woo! the like and subscribe button. Do all the things. Tomorrow, I've actually that I played that one mission a billion times. Tomorrow, we're going to come back with a new character yeah. and a new mission, and we're going to see how it goes when I can't just do it on autopilot. Maybe it'll be the same thing where you just get to listen to Matt and Jeff talk about d d things. <laughs> things. Just whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe not. <laughs> Matt, where can people find you on the internet? <laughs> MattFrankArt.net Patreon.com slash MattFrankArt That's it. Okay. <laughs> Bye.